Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Maggie. Thank you so much for coming back. Today I wanted to share with you the books that I tried to read in April and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the books that I have lined up for May. So on this side here, I have all of my April reads. These are the books that I have planned to read for April, but some of them I did not get to. So the first book here I have is called Followers. And this is um, the Paper and Glam book club choice uh, that Lisa Marie chose for April. I thought it was perfect not only for the month, but also for the kind of um, thing that I'm doing more in the month. So um, I switched positions personally at, at work and now I am in sales. And one of the biggest things that I do is help um, people, uh, help brochures with their social media. So this book really helps because, um, we in social media, um, realtors are always looking for followers and people who, um, you know, the more followers, the better. And this book kind of hit on a lot of topics, a lot of points, um, and it hit close to home a lot. Um, but I will link below the paper and glam book club for you to, um, uh, join uh, if you want to so that you can see what we had to say about followers by Megan Angelo. The next book that I uh, did not finish, it's a DNF for me. It is Untamed by Gwendolyn Doyle. And honestly, guys, I got that far in, which isn't far at all. Um, I had to, had to put it down on 50 pages in because it read so much like a Facebook rant, to be honest. Like um, she was, um, it felt like, cause the, they're micro chapters, so they're very short. And it felt like each one was a Facebook post about a particular thing. And um, I don't know, it was just, I don't know. I could not get on board with it. Um, so it was, it did not finish for me. Um, I had heard high praise about it and I so wanted to read it. It starts off. I don't know. She, she says that she feels like she's, um, a cheetah and, um, that part was like a really good opening. Um, it's in the pre preface, preface, and it was really good and it got me really excited. But then every chapter in felt just like, a Facebook rant to me so I could not finish it I have a new policy where if it's not like life is too short to spend it finishing a book um, that I don't like just because I have to finish it so now you will see a lot more uh, DNFs for me this is another book that I didn't even begin I didn't even crack this book April was such a whirlwind month for me that I didn't even I it was not a good reading month for me but I do plan to read these. Um, um, I don't know if I have to put it back on the list for next year. I'm not too sure, but I will try to read this um, later on because um, it's actually really good and um, I really wanted to, to read it. The other book that I did not finish was this one about Audrey Hepburn. It's What Would Audrey Do? Sadly, I didn't crack this one either. I did not even get to it. Um, I started thinking halfway through the month, I was like, oh my gosh, was eight books too much to read, too much um, to conquer? And it just, if it's a busy month for me, I'm just not going to get to them. So I did not get to this one. I'm sad about it. But again, I will put it on another list for another month. Another one that I didn't get to was The Dating Plan. This is uh, uh, by Sarah Desai. It's a book of a month uh, read and it's the January book of the month for 2021 and I had planned it for April because obviously the color but um it just seemed really cute but mm, I was not able to do it either I will definitely put that on um to still try to read it another month this is another one that I didn't get get to is my book of poems this is by du Denise Dumel it was Queen for a Day, Selected, and New Poems. Um, I didn't get to this either, um, but 
yeah, I'm just getting to a point where I, I'm not going to feel bad at myself for not completing it. This one I did read and it was a great read, Queen of America by Luis Alberto Urea. And it was such a good book and it's a thick book. I spent almost the whole month reading this one. It has almost 500 pages and it's a good solid book. So I spent most of my month reading this one and um and yeah it was a really good read it's a story about um this um woman this girl she is a sort of like a healer and she's able to um i don't know sort of like an empath slash healer and um she she does such a great job that she starts to um people start to flock to her and they start calling her a saint and it's a story of her and her dad and how they have to flee Mexico and come to um, to the United States to get away from, um, you know, her hordes of followers, which is another followers type of book. Um, and um, there's like assassins that want to kill her um, just because she's, you know, has such um, notoriety and it it talks about she ends up going you know to california and to um el paso and all these other places but it just talks about um her life as this healer and how people have really um idolized her and at the end of the day she is um she's not a saint and you we find that out in the book she kind of does something that you're just like <gasps> and um and so it really uh yeah it really made people realize that she's not as wholesome as they thought and yeah it was really good it was my favorite book this month um of the only two books that i read this month the other book that i did not get to this month was uh arabian nights this one is by based on 14th century manuscript edited by muslin musin mahdi translated by Hussein Hathaway and this month is um it was or I'm sorry April was Arab American month so I try to read books by Arab Americans or Arab type culture and so I try to read this one for the month but I didn't get to it either like I said um I just had such a, a night, but I wanted to read it. It's a classic. This one was the classic for me for this month. I couldn't read it, sadly, but it is actually really good. And I'm excited to read it uh, later. And the last book that I um, didn't get to, but it's more of a devotional book, more of a journal. Um, it is Your Late Again, Lord. And it's just a journal. It says journaling your way to a patient heart. My mom got me this and um, I wanted to, um, I want to read it um, every night before I go to bed. So I just wanted to share this with you. She got it for me and I meant to read it every night, but of course I couldn't. <laughs> so those are the books that I wanted to read this month, but didn't get to this month. Um, and I actually only read two books this month um two books not four books two books this month and yeah from eight that i had planned i only read two real quick i did want to share a book that i bought for myself for my birthday um it is this beautiful tiffany blue edition of breakfast at tiffany's it is this patent um material and it's um tiffany blue it does have all four stories. So it has Breakfast at Tiffany's, House of Flowers, A Christmas Memory, and it has a diamond guitar. So it has all four of the same books that are in the um, original Breakfast at Tiffany's, this one. Um, but I decided to get this one um, when I was in Palm Springs because it's um, obviously it's Tiffany blue and I wanted to um i really wanted to splurge on myself and get it so it's gorgeous i do not regret it 